One of the easiest breakfasts you can make for a crowd is overnight French toast. It's custardy in the center and crispy on the outside, and it's super simple to make. Let me show you how. Hey everyone, I'm Kelly with The Suburban Soapbox, and today we are making one of my favorite breakfasts, overnight French toast. It's super simple, it's great for holidays, or if you have overnight weekend guests, it's also wonderful for like back to school. All you're going to need is a loaf of bread and some common French toast ingredients. If you've made my regular French toast, this is very similar, you're just baking it in a dish. So we're going to start by slicing up some challah bread. You can use a brioche. You can really use any type of bread that you have if it's like heartier and can hold up to the overnight soak of the egg. So you're going to cut whatever loaf you have. If it's day old, that's even better. You're going to cut it into about half inch slices. And they can be really rustic. You leave the crust on. This is not one of those situations where you need to cut a whole bunch of cubes and toss them together with your egg mixture. So you wanna make sure that your slices are not too thick. That's why we're going with about a half inch so that they're going to soak up all of that egg custard mixture. If your slices are too thick, you're going to have a lot of dry spots in your French toast casserole. So we're just gonna coat a baking dish with some cooking spray. So now you're just gonna arrange your bread. So you can use a more rectangular style baking dish for this, so like 13 by nine inch pan is probably as big as you wanna go for a one pound loaf of bread. I chose an oval baking dish because the challah loaf is more oval and it just kind of looks prettier when you arrange the bread in the baking dish. And you're going to make sure you squish all of it in there. And when you get to the edge here and it gets a little smaller, you wanna grab some of those smaller pieces and just stuff them in. And then you can kind of wedge these in on the sides. You really can stuff your bread in there pretty tightly. That egg mixture will find all of the nooks and crannies and get in there. So to start your egg mixture, you're going to use five eggs. And I like to use a large egg. Room temperature is best here. And one tip for you, when you're cracking eggs, you might want to crack them into a separate bowl before you put them into a bowl with all of your eggs. This is a do as I say, not as I do lesson. Because sometimes you have an egg that's a little subpar and then you can ruin all of your eggs by throwing that one in there. You can't really recover from that. You have to dump the whole thing and start, start all over. So that's my tip for the day. Again, I didn't do that, but you should. We're going to add heavy cream to our egg mixture and some low fat milk, 2% is great. And then we're going to add sugar. You can use brown sugar, you can substitute maple syrup if you like, some vanilla, salt, and a little cinnamon and nutmeg. If you wanna go really crazy, you can start to add other flavors in if you like. You can add cocoa powder if you wanna make chocolate French toast. Really, there's no limit. A little bit of lemon or orange is always nice in your French toast as well. And you're just gonna whisk this until everything is like pretty well mixed together. Once your mixture is all whisked together, whisks. We're just gonna pour the whole thing over top of the bread. And you just wanna give it, if it looks like it's getting too full, you just wanna give it a second to soak up into that, the bread, and then you can continue pouring. This is just like if you're making a bread pudding recipe, very, very similar. And you just wanna push the pieces down on the side to kind of get them coated in that egg mixture as well. And it will float, but once you rest this overnight, it's gonna soak up all of that egg mixture and then you're gonna bake it. So we're just gonna cover this with plastic wrap and stash it in the refrigerator for eight hours or overnight. 
So this one I made ahead of time. This one sat overnight and then I baked it in the oven at 350 degrees for 50 to 55 minutes. You'll be able to tell when the egg is no longer, you'll see it like bubbling up or if it's like wet on top, you'll, you'll need to give it another five or 10 minutes before you pull it out of the oven. Let it rest for about 10 minutes before you cut into it and then you can eat. So before I put it in the oven, I did sprinkle a little bit of turbinado sugar or sugar in the raw on top just so you have this nice crusty texture. It adds a little bit of sweetness, but not too much. It just makes it look beautiful. So we're just gonna cut into this and you can sprinkle powdered sugar on top or decorate with some berries. I'm just gonna cut a piece for myself. A nice chunk of French toast. Just dust it a little bit with powdered sugar and some berries. And you can add a little bit of maple syrup if you like, but I like mine without. So I'm just going to dig in. Mm. That is so perfectly custardy with a nice crunch from the top. It is absolute perfection. Not too sweet, just right. If you like this recipe, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more easy recipes, visit thesuburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again.